Hello and welcome to episode number 20 of Creating a Legend. I am the FM Novice and I'm currently the most stressed out person in South Leicestershire. It's amazing how stressful this game can be. We are having a decent run of it at the moment. We are currently sitting from the table, 19 points from 15 games. So we're above where we were last season, but we've had some disappointing results and for some good results. So let me tell you what has been going on. We were together for the game against Verez, which was a disappointing 3-0 defeat. We bounced back in the next game, a 1-0 victory over Maripol, with Kizil scoring the early goal in that one. A comfortable victory in the end, before we played against Shakhtar, and they were always going to win, because it's Shakhtar, and they are fantastic. Then we played against Desna. They got promoted last season, and we really should have won this game. We were 1-0 up through Anton Kitcher. However, they got back into the game in the second half and I got Dutt's own goal. A couple of goals for their guys in the space of five minutes. And then Dimitrov Skoblov scored a late, late goal to put us back in the game. But we lost that one 3-2 and things were looking really, really bad at that point. Then Vladim Sevchuk scored against Olympic Deeds. Score a 1-0 victory. After that game was a defeat, unfortunately. We're away at Kapati. Shevchuk couldn't play because he was on alone, but Sugar Kravchenko was back in the side after his injury. Struggled, and we got we won all in the last minute, and then he scored. That happens so often this season. We've lost so many points through late, late goals this season. It's been very, very frustrating. But there were no late goals in the next game. Vorskla at home in the quarterfinal of the Ukrainian Cup. And we were 5-0 up at halftime. Kogot, Skoblov, Kuzil. Chonka and Kravchenko with the goals. A debut as well for Alexander Stavtok, our central defender that we brought in on a free transfer a few weeks ago. Can't play in the league until January, but can play in the cup tie. So that was his debut in a very good performance. And then we beat Zoya 2-1 in the last game. Skoblov scoring in the first half. They got in equalised in the 86th minute. And then we scored a late goal for a change. Raphael Oller in the 87th minute, giving us a 2-1 victory. And it was much needed, it really was. We haven't really done very well in live comms this season, so I am a little bit nervous that this is a live comp and we will lose the game. But I say we've done really well in the last coup's game, so I'm hopeful we can keep the run going today. Eugene Pass is our goalkeeper today. At back four, it's been fairly consistent all season. Gail check on in right back, left back is Vladimir Kuschenko. Dutz and Eugene are our two central defenders. Kogot and Skoblov are our two midfielders, and they played pretty much most of the football this season and doing really well as well, which is really, really positive. Ruslan Kislan is from the right hand side, Raphael Ollo in the centre, and Yuri Chonko is on the left hand side today. He retains his place in the side last couple of games. Kitcher is on the bench, and I'll bring him on when required, but. Ol Chonka has the place in the moment, and Sergei Kravchenko is up front. Kravchenko is due a goal. I usually start games by saying it's a huge game, but pretty much they all are in this league. Which doesn't do much from a blood pressure, to be honest. Currently sitting five points above that relegation zone playoffs. We are on course to beat last season's point target, which is pretty much all you can really do in a season. So, Not one highlight in that first half. There will probably be more highlights in the second half. We've played well as it stands, had most of the possession and most of the shots on target. But I remember saying that in the last game, we lost 3-0, so it's important that we do well in this game, obviously. The corner, Ivanov to take, plays in, headed away there by Ola. We win the ball, Chonka, chance to break. Pass to Kravchenko, Kravchenko, Pass it back to Chonka. He does. Chonka shoots. Scores. 1-0. Euro Chonka. Great play by Shevchenko. He could have gone for goal himself, but he was unselfish and played in Yuri Chonka as we broke well. We deserve that goal. First highlight of the game. And it's in the 53rd minute, which probably tells you all you need to know about how good this game has been so far. Goal kick. Plays it short. Played over to always oh, beating the offside track. Savchenko's through. Great save by past. Fantastic save. Making the first change of the game. Arvaladzi is going to come on for Rafael Ola. Ola's had a quiet game. He's playing really well the last few games, so I can let him off for one quiet game. Kizzo with the corner. Near post, headed off the bar. Can we get the ball in? Can we get the ball? No, we don't. It's cleared away. That could have been game over. But it's still, it's still 1-0. 
we are knackered out there as well. Making another change. Going to go to a slightly more defensive mentality and going to bring on Skarlosh for Kogut, who's been booked and is knackered. So to be fair, most of our side is knackered. Last five minutes. This is usually when the opposition score. Five minutes of injury time. Nothing is happening. Last set, few seconds of the game. Geltrick for throwing. There is the final whistle. It's a game that won't take much time to edit. Two highlights potentially in that game. We scored in one of them. You're a chonker with the goal. I'm suddenly feeling very, very positive after a very stressful evening. I've been the FM Novice. You've been my audience. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Good night.